So um, hi everyone who's listening to our first webinar. Um, welcome to Architecture in the Den featuring the Sheroes of Architecture. <laughs> and just this is the first time we're kind of trying the, the webinar Zoom feature. So um, you just have to bear with us. There's going to be a little bit of coming and going on the, it'll be all right on the night. We're practicing this so that the, when we, when we get to the Shiro's and Architecture Festival, when we all assemble, everything's going to be perfect. <laughs> so um, without further ado, do I'm going to just run around the room and introduce uh we're going to introduce ourselves so um I'm Lisa Rains um I am the founder of Pride Road the architecture practice franchise I'm a chartered architect based in the UK um and I'm one of the, the co-hosts of Shiro's of Architecture with the uh, amazing firecracker, uh, Sarah Colotta. So hi, Sarah, would you like to say hello and introduce yourself? Yes, well, thank you so much for hosting Architecture in the Den with all of us and uh, dedicating this podcast to obviously Shiro's of Architecture. I'm very excited, Shiro's of Architecture is a festival or a conference that we're organizing between the 12th and the 14th of May. And I'm co-organizing it with Lisa. And my name is Sarah Colata. I am an architect and a digital transformation specialist. And I help architects uh, get profitable online. And I'm really excited for this event because um, we're going to dedicate it to all things women related in architecture. And as you see, it's superhero uh, themed. And today also on this podcast, we have some of the speakers so it's really exciting and looking forward to the conversation today as well. Woohoo, brilliant. Um, so I'm going to pass over to one of our wonderful um, speakers, uh, Graciela Cariello, AKA the Immigrant Oracle. So would you like to say hello and introduce yourself? Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Lisa and Sarah for putting this together. I think this is going to be a great oh. event. And uh, I'm, I'm currently living in uh, Long Island, New York, but I'm, um, I'm born and raised in Bogota, Colombia. So I'm an immigrant in the U.S. Uh, I'm an architect working for NASA BOSIS, uh, providing services to school districts here in Long Island. And I am also the president of the American Institute of Architects Long Island chapter. And through that uh, volunteering work, I have also co-founded the Women in Architecture Committee here in Long Island. And I also co-founded the Immigrants Coalition, Immigrants Architects Coalition uh, in the US. Um, so I have a lot of um, um, tips and experiences to share as an immigrant architect leader in the States. Thank you. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and uh, back over in the UK, we've got the amazing Wonder Woman, aka Simone de Gaulle. Do you want to say hi and introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, Lisa and Sarah, for coordinating this event. I think it's going to be fantastic and you know I'm just a great supporter of both of your works and this is like an amazing opportunity for me. Um, yes I'm, I'm an architect, I'm a chartered architect and I run a business Simone de Girl Architects in Belgravia in London, one of the most exclusive places to be in London and so you know um, working on our projects is so much fun, I've got a great team and we've been going for a number of years, uh, 10 years now, actually. Um, Lisa, as you know, I started my business as soon as I finished university. So I started after my part two and then I became qualified through that. And now we have projects across the world, international projects, um, you know, master plan projects and then mixed use and another, a whole range of 
projects really you know you can just check out the website and um, I'm also in a very powerful position I'm one of the senior um, officers at the RIBA I'm currently the honorary treasurer of the Royal Institute of British Architects mm -hmm. and so that means that and so that means that I'm working really hard to make sure that the steer of direction for the architects and architectural practice in the UK and internationally is, you know, what we expect it to be. So yeah. I'm very fortunate um, right now and I'm working really, really hard to, you know, empower our women and empower our, our young people and generally empower our profession you know to create a better architecture that's amazing and um um i'd like to now introduce uh murray murray curiosity aka lira louie Yes, uh, thanks, uh, Lisa and Sarah, for having me here, for hosting this. And thanks for organizing this wonderful event that celebrates women, regardless of where you are in the world, because we have uh, shared um, experiences and struggles within the profession. So I'm an architect. I'm licensed in the U.S. and practicing in the U.S. I'm based uh, out of Chicago, and um, I actually shuttle between Chicago and New York City. And um, I'm recently twice elected as a fellow of the first of the Royal Institute of British Architects and the Royal Society of the Arts. Um, so I'm an architect. Yeah, so I'm an architect for open-minded businesses. So I have made uh, successful decisions um, that were, you know, in the face of uncertainty. And um, I also thrive on challenges that open-minded startups and uh, Fortune 500 company, uh, Fortune 500 clients face. So in a nutshell, that's my background. And uh, I look forward to our discussion today. Awesome. Um, Lyra, I have just emailed you a new background. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to put it up so we can all be all have our backgrounds there is a little plus sign and you can add your virtual background there okay yeah this is so cool i'm so yeah you get you girls are so cool with this <laughs> yeah it's amazing it's such fun it's such fun okay so um we've got we're just going to keep this short and sweet so i think what i'd like to hear yeah. from you guys is what are you going to be talking about so um if we uh just go to graciella first so immigrant oracle what are you going to be talking about um our sheroes of architecture so i'm gonna my uh session is is going to talk about leadership and how can you apply leadership skills to your own business, to your own life, to your own surrounding? And it's based on my own experience on how I was able to get to a point of leadership uh, while I was actually overcoming a lot of obstacles in my life. Uh, so it's 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 um it's a story, it's a storytelling session and also a session that will provide uh, some sort of um, knowledge about leadership and how to become a, a, a better architect implementing those tips. Ooh, uh, Sarah, do you want to just talk a little bit about what you're going to be talking about? Yes, with pleasure. So, um, I will talk a little bit about alternative income sources for architects and uh, without giving too much away, um, the traditional way of thinking about making profit and making money in architecture is obviously through selling our design, but there is a, a lot of expertise that comes into delivering excellent designs and uh, there is um, more and more ways currently to uh, monetize and also diversify your um, your practice by offering consultancy as well and potentially teaching. So I will uh, explore this field and talk a little bit about 
um, how you can turn a profit by creating online courses and leading with your expertise and how by doing so you can actually position yourself as um, uh, differentiate yourself from your competition and position yourself as the stronger um, uh, architect who doesn't just uh, lead with uh, you know with uh, with design and, and ideas solely based on that, but also um, adding extra, a little extra, that, that expertise base into your designs. Uh, so I will talk about this and I'm really excited and looking forward for my session. Um, and uh, also a big part of it is if you're already interested, you can uh, listen to my podcast, which is called uh, Profitable Architect Online, where I explore a lot of these topics as well. And the session is going to be a summary of, of many of those things that are already put out there in form of content. So really looking forward and thank you again um, for, for, for joining and for all the speakers and everything. Oh, brilliant. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, th so it's just a complete mine, minefield, mine of advice. I love it. Every time I speak to her, I get a new tip. <laughs> Why do you think I'm organizing this with her? <laughs> It's like, do this um, now. I'm like, okay. Maybe share with us, you know, what inspired you, uh, both of you, Lisa and Sarah, what inspired you to organize this? Oh, good question. Um, we were just talking together. So um, Sarah came on as a podcast guest of mine. And then um, I was a podcast guest on her architecture uh, talk tank. And um, she just very nonchalantly slipped into conversation we should organize a conference and I'd actually been thinking along a similar line and so I just went yes and Sarah went okay <laughs> well that that's my side of the story what's your side of the story Sarah oh, <laughs> yeah exactly very similar so um I actually met Lisa through Simone Simone was telling me about Lisa for a while before I reached out and uh Simone was also a guest on Lisa's podcast to start with and I have a podcast with Simone every Friday called uh, value of an architect in a Facebook group and we also stream it to uh to my YouTube channel and so this is really how I met Lisa and the event really a big part of it is that we wanted to um, sort of give a voice to the women in architecture. I think that minority is not uh, celebrated enough in the field and there is more and more need for us to unite. And we just thought it would be a great uh, way for, for, for this to be a platform for women and to also uh, give room for amazing women that inspire us and that we work with and uh, um, yeah, to invite as guests. Um, but, you know, from the sort of digital transformation side of things, this is a big way for both of us also to reach out to, to people and uh, not only promote what we do, uh, but also um, grow a mailing list, which is an extremely important part of having a digital presence online today. Um, so, so it is really everything that you see uh, me particularly, because I also am in the online co courses, event organizing field. Um, it, is, it is all the, the, the side of the business that, uh, that is growing online and it's about putting yourself online and creating these happenings um, also to, to essentially um, offer value to people back in return. And that is basically the, the foundation of the business. So, um, so really it's, it's about... Um, it's about creating community, but also about uh, giving value back. And we hope that this event alone can do that as well as uh, the little things that we, we have on offer and looking forward to, to continue offering as well to the community post past the event. Hey, thank you, Sarah. So um, Catherine, Davis has just appeared. Um, would you, we, we've just done some intros and we're just starting to talk about our, our talks. This is being recorded. So um, you're live on Architecture in the Den. Um, so would you like to introduce yourself, Catherine? Hi, I am um, 
uh, Catherine. I'm the counselor for uh, RIBA Americas region. And I'm also um, the, the creator and the uh, CEO of CED and Associates, my, my initials. Um, and I live in, in Boston, Massachusetts. So um, delighted to join you all. And um, I'm gonna have a question and answer session with um, Lisa. And apparently it's listening. Uh, I, I actually um, have a lot in parallel with the rest of you in that um, I uh, have alternative uh, income streams. So um, I, um, I'm going to try and in, in, uh, incorporate that into it, into the listening part and talk about um, architects um, being able to make a living really, um, how, how, how we can um, reposition ourselves as um, business people and developers and um, being able to uh, be a part of the client stream and, and take more of percentage rather than just of construction, which is where we're stuck at at the moment. Uh, and we really need to um, change that. But I believe my theme is going to be based on um, like the sort of architecture of the future, where are we go in. Um, there's a lot of sort of concepts and ideologies based around um, like, I think, starting architecture on different planets. Um, there's, you know, there's a like manifesto by Bjarke Ingels group uh, set up some, um, you know, schemes on Mars and the extent of, you know, the sort of thinking of the architect and where we're going with it, because um, Sarah and I, we did a podcast a couple of weeks ago about the sort of architecture to survive, architecture to thrive, and um, it, it's a really, really interesting concept because you know the the earth apparently is becoming so overpopulated. You know how are we going to provide resource for every single human being that's on earth? So the proposition is to now explore life on different planets and. I find it absolutely fascinating because not only is it an concept, um, you know, something which is actually being investigated, interrogated, and, you know, proposals are coming up to sort of inhabit these other planets as a species. And I find effective and from a very this is very true so let's it sounds like it's going to segue really nicely into Lyra's topic so Lyra do you want to give us a little highlight of what you're going to be talking about yes yeah, so I will be talking about um, blockchain actually or non-fungible tokens so uh, this is a new concept in the practice of uh, architecture and design and we've seen uh, I've actually uh, met the online virtually virtually the the woman who produced the first uh nft you know the non-fungible token house called mars house so you know perfect to what was simone was discussing about you know going interplanetary so this is an exploration of that and exploring the potential of this new technology so nfts are based on the ledger a, a ledger which is called blockchain and I've given a public lecture about blockchain for architectures in cities um, in 2019 at Chicago, built a conference here in Chicago. And so then I'm bringing that discussion here, introducing NFTs and, its, and the opportunities it would create for architecture and design, so for the profession. So that would be my topic. That's so exciting. <laughs> Very interesting. Very yeah, so <laughs> I think I want to do it. I want to inter interview that one. I want to. <laughs> okay, right. And I think we're just going to wind this all down. So thank you so much um, 
for to everyone for attending and listening and i look forward to seeing you all um between the 12th and the 14th of may at uh, Shiro's in architecture uh, for those who are listening um where can they buy their tickets from sarah yes so please go to www.saracolata saracolata k-o-l-a-t-a.com forward slash shiro's so that's heroes with an s uh, I'm sure we will put the link to the actual website in the uh, in the comments below or wherever this is going to be posted. Lisa, right? <laughs> of course, of course we will. Um, and I look forward to see. We we're also running a clubhouse room, so you may come and see us there. Um, and just follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn and all social medias. So I can't wait um for the 12 so goodbye from me goodbye thank you so much lisa for hosting this and having us on bye goodbye everyone bye everyone bye